Nice fish, man. Hey folks, so welcome to the Royal Anglers Fishing Show. It's Community Kev. We're out here outside the Dockside Learning Center. We're doing a quick recap on a recent trip I did on the Ranger 85. If you know, I've been on the Ranger 85 for a while doing well watching trips and having fun. Some of the best trips I've ever done, starting as a filmmaker, everything from the floating laboratory, again, over, uh, I think, three or four well watching trips. And I've been dying to get out to do some fishing and had a chance to do so on a day and a half trip down out of H&M Sport Fishing down in San Diego. The Ranger 85 is a migrating boat. That means it comes up here half of the year to the Channel Islands and the other half of the year goes down to San Diego out of H&M to do more uh, long range two to three day trips. And I was able to jump on and do a, a day and a half trip uh, here in October and it was great, man. Bluefin fishing, a little bit of Dorado action. We did look for some yellowtail and stuff, but primarily it was a straight bluefin bite. Oh, Alright, so this is the rye guys to fish with them and work with them on the gentleman right just to cook your Hello. quesadillas. Yes, they were right. Your bomb. hamburgers, your yeah, basic the ooey gooey's, they're bomb. That's right. Ha! So what do we got here? He's gonna help me. I, I've never caught a bluefin, so I'm not too proud to ask for help. What do you what do you rec what we got here? Go so ahead. So guys, this is gonna be your 30-pound fly line outfit. Okay. Once you get a bait. This is my gear though, just so you know, I'm just making sure I'm rigged up. We just got our tour from uh from the captain, but I don't want to make sure that I'm still getting one-on-one -on -one. so this is my gear right here set up to go and uh so once you hook a bait on right we're gonna be butt hooking your bait it's not gonna be through the nose like up north you're gonna be hooking them right in the middle of the stomach like that's what you gotta aim for here's your collar here's your butthole you go right in the middle okay once you fly line a bait you're underhand casting you're not trying to overhand cast and make the bait slam the water it stuns them delicate the delicate right. be, finessing be gentle be gentle okay. we're ninja fishing so once you put your lot your your uh reel and free spool you're gonna do a little underhand cast. Once that bait's going, keep that line tight. All right, so like if this is constantly going like this and you have slack stacking on top of the water, wind up, get a new bait. If you're off the corner over here, the current's always gonna be pushing up towards the bow because we drift backwards, especially on the Ranger, okay? So you're always gonna be, if you're on the right-hand side, the starboard side, you're always gonna be stepping left, always. You're following that line. I promise you the bait's gonna follow you. Same thing with our port side, you're gonna be walking towards the bow, always. When you cast a bait, you're making sure this bait is constantly coming off your reel. Constantly. If it stops at any point, wind up and get a new bait. If that bait turns around and comes under the boat, wind up. Emergency. How we kill fish on this boat, especially fly lining, is in the stern or in the bow. There's no midship because we have a lot of like obstacles you gotta work around and the fish, I don't know. They have a suicide wish going under the boat. So when you're fly lining, always like kind of pull back on your line. Keep that line tight, make sure it's going constantly away from the boat. You know your bit, especially with tuna, it'll be like, it'll constantly be going slow, 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 slow. And then it starts peeling. It'll look like you put your hook on an F-150 and you just stepped on it, okay? Once that's happening, it's constantly going, right? You don't want your rod tip in the air. That's when you want to lower, get in whatever stance you want, because it's going to come tight. If you have your rod tip in the air, the wind will catch it and sometimes it'll pull it out. You like want no finesse. The point is for him to be eating your, when we're throwing bait, he's eating chum, looks the exact same. This is your chum with a hook in it. Okay, so you're sending this thing out. When it gets bit, wait three to five seconds, right? You, if you have a, a lever drag, like which is this one right here, the Pen Fathom. Uh -huh. We set all our drags all the way to full in light, in light, light drag. So all you'd have to do is like count to five and slowly work your way up. 
but since yours is a star drag, it's got no like lever. Uh -huh. There's no conventional drag system. So when you go to throw this in gear, it's one pop up and then lift your rod tip. We're gonna be fishing two in size four J hooks, so you're gonna need to hook the fish. Wait till it, you can feel a little bit of pressure and your rod tip goes to get heavy, you'll feel it. Like he's taking line, once you put it in gear, it's stopping. Uh, once, once, you, once that rod tip goes to load up, set that hook, and the second you hook up, fish on, fresh one. One of us will be with you in the next 30 seconds. Cool. So that, that's 30 pound I have on there right now. We're gonna put a short, real short. Like a three to four foot top shot of uh, Floro. Uh, we have green label. And what size hook? Uh, size two or size four. It's about the same say as you guys are fishing like white fish with. That's what we're gonna be fishing with. Cool. All right, we'll put a top shot it. in there and a hook. And there we go. Uh, you will also see me giving an entire tackle seminar to all 29 passengers on the boat today. So hopefully we get to see that. Thanks, Eve. Have some fun. That's right. For real. Let's go. Let's go. The Real Anglers Fishing Show with Kevin Brannan, brought to you by Cisco's Channel Island Sports Fishing. Catch a memory on the sea. Daiwa USA Reels. Exceeding expectations through quality and innovation. Costa Del Mar Sunglasses. See what's out there. Promar Ahi USA, premium fishing products and accessories with concepts developed by passionate anglers, enthusiasts, and professionals. The reason I wanted to do the trip this way is because we're in the trenches on this video. I'm gonna be inside of the tangles, watching the fight. I mean, the night before you go out, the guys spend time with three different seminars to make sure we're ready for action when these fish start biting. But when it starts biting, there's nothing that's gonna prepare you for the actual fish on the line, different directions fish going where they want to go and uh and about 25 anglers trying to figure it out so it's pretty funny again is going to take you inside of what the fight looks like, the tangles, the currents, the wind blowing, I mean all these different things going on. But Jake and Ryan and the team, they really they really did a great job of making sure that we landed most of these fish. Sometimes fighting bluefin from what I hear, and I've been on some sport boats up here where you pull the hook out, uh, we landed most of our fish and I think that's pretty much because of the crew, making sure they stayed with anglers, ready with the gaff, working with each other. There was some tangles where Everybody was wrapped up. Three or four people tangled up, even with fish. Some people weren't hooked into fish, some people were, and they were able to get it out. You know, they, they said it a couple of times in the seminar. If we grab your rod while we're fishing, please don't take it personal. We do this every day. We know the best practices to make sure you land your fish, and the fish is always the priority. Meaning, if we're tangled up, and you're next to me, and you don't have a fish, and I have a fish, or vice versa, Whatever they have to do to get that fish into the boat, meaning cut your line, pulling your rod away from you, the fish is a priority, which is great for everybody that's catching fish because, again, if it's your fish, you definitely want to get that fish into the boat. So, But they, ex they explained that to us the night before during the seminars uh, about when this happens, how to handle it. So a couple of times when we first started, it was definitely people getting used to it. And I heard a couple of guys yelling and we're like, hey, there's no reason to yell. We talked about this last night, but again, in the, in the heat of the battle, and that's what this video is gonna show, in the heat of the battle of these bluefin. Maybe that's what we'll call this one, Battle of the Bluefin, right?
wind blowing and some big swell and fish biting, but these fish stayed with us for about three hours. And commonly, that's not, that's not what happens from what I hear. Again, this is my first uh, bluefin tuna trip I've been on. to work so you can see it's crazy craziness Ooh, a little swell out here pretty windy that was about eight minutes worth of fighting fish no 12 minutes so now for me to get in the water and try to catch one of these big bluefin or small bluefin or bluefin in general let's go time for me to fish is a part of bluefin tuna tradition that when you catch your first bluefin you have to eat the heart so sticking to tradition when i caught my first bluefin i definitely had to eat the heart you're going to see that on yeah. this video it was okay, pretty disgusting if i had to sum it up in one Woo! word it was nasty but hey man we're out there on a boat with other savages and you yeah. see a couple of other guys creating oh. memories and catching memories and eating their bluefin i had to join the party man and, uh, and it was go. great what we got going on here What do you got going on here? Look at it. I got my first bluefin, bro. Ate the heart. This one, uh, fresh one, fresh one's back there. Not us. Woo! Um, got it upside down, sir. Yeah, I'm left you. Oh, what else? You got one here? This guy finally hooked one. That's right. Oh, boy. Worked our way up to the bow here. Look how bloody it is up here. Whoa, sorry guys, sorry. <laughs> Let's work together, look at that. Bendo. Oh, that's a chunker. That's a chunker. Right in the finger. Oh. That's why you keep it in free spool. That's exactly why you keep it in free spool when it hits the gas. Look at all the blood up here. Mine's in there. Thanks for your help. You're welcome. <laughs> Number 25. There's calves in there. I know there's a whole bunch right Got a yellow fin in there. Okay. Big yellow fin. Oh. Bendo, bendo. What number's just number seven for you? Yeah, see, this guy's hot. In a cool kind of way. <laughs> the Real Anglers Fishing Show with Kevin Brannan. Brought to you by Cisco's Channel Island Sports Fishing. Catch a memory on the sea. Daiwa USA Reels, exceeding expectations through quality and innovation. Costa Del Mar Sunglasses, see what's out there. Promar Ahi USA, premium fishing products and accessories with concepts developed by passionate anglers, enthusiasts, and professionals. A lot of poke bowls, sashimi, and... Working together, it's important. Let's switch, it's important. Guys. Work together. Get it. For the second gas shot. Oh, there we go. Very nice. Woo! Nice fish. How many is that for you? Third one. Nice fish, brother. Ryan, thanks for your help. Over under, working the, the out of tangles. Yes, I can. Checking the drag. You go over. Yeah, you go over that old timer. This way, young man. <laughs> it's crazy out here. All right, I'm gonna go back and get, try to catch another one. Nice fish. You guys are right up there. Keep pulling on them, guys.
Here we are on the Ranger 85 out of San Diego, out of H&M Sport Fishing, one of the biggest landings and the premier landings on the West Coast and the fleet and California for sure. Uh, and again, we're out here fishing, filmmaking, catching memories on the Ranger 85. It was just a really meaningful trip. Not only for me catching my first bluefin, but I've been working on this boat up here in Channel Islands for four or five years. I filmed my first whale watching trip and floating laboratory on this boat, working with Frank Corsetti, one of the original owners, and learning how to do the teaching and the whale watching and, and, and copying some of that and what we do with the real guppy outdoors. So again, it was really meaningful. Again, catching a bluefin tuna, filming it, seeing one of my guys, Ryan, that, I, that was a pinhead on the gentleman that I work on, uh, out there being a deck boss was really neat to see as well, watching him uh, work with it and doing setups and and watching him come into his full potential as, as a deck boss. So very meaningful uh, trip to be on. Yeah, it's <laughs> how many we got in there now? Another big yellow fan, some big yellow fan coming in. Come up, guys. Come up. Those are yellow fin tuna. Yellow fin to the yellow. Then you got another guy to the left of you, maybe another guy to the right. There's an anchor winch in the front of you. So you're battling this anchor, you're battling other anglers. So this video, again, I'm kind of going in there with the camera and shots from underneath and over the top and uh, and, and watching the action, but also paying attention to showcase to you guys how great these crews are on making sure that, that your fish ends up on the boat. That's what's important, getting your fish of a lifetime again. It doesn't always have to be the 200 pounder, but just that first beautiful bluefin tuna and seeing the coloration of it and fighting it and battling it and bringing it into the boat. When the battle starts and you're fighting these fish and it gets into it and we and we stay with these fish for about three hours or the they stayed with those of the boat meaning that as the boat's just on this drift in the wide open ocean and the swells are coming up and down and the boat's moving like this and we're chumming heavily the guys on the bait tank throwing chum and keeping the fish there and ones and twos and scoops of them trying whatever he can to make sure that those bluefin stay with our boat and uh, that's what we're going to showcase just the 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 drift the action, the crew members doing everything they have to do to make sure we get as many fish that we can in the boat. Because again, you don't know how long it's gonna be before these tuna take off and leave us, maybe chasing other bait or the current switches or anything can happen. So you gotta fish hard and uh, that's what we do in this video and it paid off when we got uh, limits for the whole boat. That's two fish per angler. And we all came home smiling, having fun, belly swole from eating good food, making some new friends and uh, catching memories. Again, with the Real Anglers Fishing Show, Community Kev on the Ranger 85 out of H&M Sport Fishing in San Diego, California. Let's go. Hold up. It's crazy out here. Tuna, tuna, tuna. The Real Anglers Fishing Show with Kevin Brannan, brought to you by Cisco's Channel Island Sports Fishing. Catch a memory on the sea. Daiwa USA Reels. Exceeding expectations through quality and innovation. Costa Del Mar Sunglasses. See what's out there.
Promar Ahi USA, premium fishing products and accessories with concepts developed by passionate anglers, enthusiasts, and professionals. <laughs>